all aboard! Hi guys! Welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at something I have already mentioned in other videos, but you, some of you, did ask to have a little more detail. So, here I am. What we're gonna talk about today? Inner sleeves. See this? This is a, a weapon. This is gonna destroy your precious grooves, your vinyl records. Yes, if you're using just this, baby, I'm afraid that you're not gonna pass your records to your son. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so in order to have a good protection of our records, in order to reduce, greatly reduce static electricity, yes, we must avoid any kind of classic plastic like polyethylene, PVC, which just sticks completely to the record or worse, something like this. This simple plate paper, which I would say, I don't know, 70% of the records out there have just this. You can't just use this. No, guys. We really have to do something. Now, most of you probably are already know everything about this, and you're already set, and you're saying, I know which is the best inner sleeve, and a dialogue is not gonna teach me anything. I already know. I go with the Mophie. Well, Mophie is not the right choice, in my most humble opinion. Wait, first of all, this, I must admit, is an excellent inner sleeve. Absolutely. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. Very, very good. But it has a problem. One huge problem. If you want to put a record in its original nice inner sleeve, because it's not going to be always just plain paper like this, no. In most cases, especially if you go and buy old records, now it's a little more difficult, you're going to find all the texts, you're going to find graphics. This is part of the album. This gives value to the album. You don't want to put this aside. Yes, you could just insert it and put, and put your record in the Mophie and keep them like this. Sure, absolutely. But first of all, these are quite expensive. And second, it's not cool. I want my record in here. I want to take it out from this. It was meant on purpose to be the container of my record and I want it. So I want to be able to use it, to use this. What is the solution? Who has been following me already knows. Well, the fantastic, marvelous Nagaoka inner sleeves. Oh yeah, baby. Now, in the past, there was main, mainly one model, the 102, Nagaoka 102. Let's see if I have an example here. See, here we go. 102. And here you can finally see the trick of this fantastic inner sleeve. It's round. That's why you can perfectly and easily insert it in the existing sleeve. Ta-da! Very simple. And at that point, you just get your cover and you put it back in. Preserving the record and the inner sleeve for years to come. This is the best solution. As I was mentioning, there was usually, you can still find it, but it's practically disappearing. The Nagaoka 102, that was the, the main focal point of the production. Now, I don't know why they're producing just classic with no and any number anti-static record sleeves. Very plain, very simple. I'll show you one, but they're absolutely identical. Okay, guys, absolutely identical. I just measured them again to make sure. And as you can see, this is not PVC. This is not 
polyethylene. This is a special film, this translucent, matte, very thin and slippery film that does not build static electricity, as you can see. In fact, high quality records already have this in most cases. So I just want to show you, like for example, Almond Brothers, Eat a Peach, nice release. And as you can already see, you have that same type of film coming through here. It's not empty. In fact, it's coating the inside. In this case, you do not need to do anything. And this, as you can see, is the same kind of film, identical. And it is, I must admit, very efficient. You don't want anything else. Obviously, static is gonna build up eventually in any case, because that's just happening. But this will reduce it, absolutely. Another type, which is, I would say, just as good, maybe a little less, but still effective, is this kind. I've seen now in the last years, in quality pressings, quality releases, they're using this. This is a little more flimsy, we could say, but it's still anti-static and it does not scratch your records. That's the most important part. So guys, as you have seen, the Nagaoka is one of the best. Okay, they're not cheap. That is true. They come in a, in batches of 50, so you have 50 sleeves, which cost, it depends, around $27, $30. It depends, it depends, more or less. I've been trying to find something similar at a lower price, or at least with a double number, with 100 inner sleeves. Every time there's something that is not working. The sleeve is too large, the sleeve is not anti-static, they, they break in the, in the bottom part. I mean, guys, if you want quality, unfortunately, you have to pay for it. And I must admit that still at the top of the list, the king is still Nagaoka. The old 102 and now the classic anti-static inner sleeves. Okay, guys, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. And remember, music is born analog. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.